What's going on? Tectonic Edge here, playing some more Mono Green Tron, and I do not believe a single tower hand is capable, so let's mulligan that into another single tower hand. Oh, let's mulligan that into a decent hand. I think we keep this. Uh, definitely keeping that, 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 and that. I think we want the one ring as well. That leaves Bosejo and O Stone going to the bottom. Decent chance at Tron. Worst case, a little slower. Uh, turn four, one ring could be good because it buys us a little bit of time. Ancient Stirrings is definitely the weaker wrap to go with, but it's always a keepable hand. And hey, this is the first time I've seen a preordain. So this is going to be likely Merktide running preordain. That is interesting. We'll see if that finds them the answers they're looking for. Technically, they may know what I'm playing and they got to preordain. Uh, let me check. They look, I didn't look. Do they look at my top card or their top card? Either way, they could know what I'm playing and stack the th top three cards accordingly. both on bottom so they didn't find what they were looking for likely they kept a land light hand and were digging for lands um if i had to guess that's my best Ooh, okay so maybe not murktide murktide would be my first thought with preordain well i'll take tron Pardon me, I was tempted for the extra tower. Uh, we'll, we'll see what they do as to what direction we go here. That seems like a counter spell held up. Now with double Karn. Interesting. Let's see if I could get a gotcha here. Do I name Urza Saga or do I name Urza? Well, they're gonna, yeah, we're just gonna stop them from getting a bunch of dudes. Another artifact or Urza? The One Ring, okay. It does let him kill Karn.
Interesting. Wiping the board, I don't think, does anything for me. And keeping Karn alive seems important. Unfortunate. Yep, yeah, I've still got protection. They've got a lot of draw, though. We've taken out their board state, but not effectively stopped them. It's an Underworld Breach deck. Okay, so sending that stuff to the graveyard, not the most effective. Is that complete combo? That's a complete combo. Unfortunate. So Preordain definitely seems like it's helped this deck out. We're gonna see the rest of the deck. The One Ring seems to have helped this deck out too. That, that definitely let them find all the resources they need. They don't really care about our One Ring, so I don't feel bad about not playing that. Just not having an answer for the Underworld Breach is the biggest issue. Or the Emery. If I could get rid of the Emery here, I'd be in a good spot. I'm primarily making the game go on so we can see the whole deck. Like, I want to know what I'm up against here. They've definitely got us here.
I don't know why I'm getting the ping. I'm waiting for me to respond, considering I'm not responding. But we'll just have to deal with the pings. Three rain, six. Three cards left in the deck. Unless they have a lot of one rings in hand, they actually aren't running that many one rings. So the fact that they got that was very lucky on their part. Yeah, I, I needed a con to live too. So if Urza Saga had gone off, Relic would have been the best answer. Admittedly, with Preordain, I was thinking more an Urza deck, but I guess this does make more sense. Warping Whale well doesn't do too terribly much. I guess it does more than Dismember, but Dismember's one mana. For the Chalice. Bring in the Oracle. For the stone brain to get rid of the oracle that is bring in the fire might risky But it has a lot of answers. Do I play the chalice on zero here? Yeah, that's going to buy us a little bit of time at the very least. Preordain, yep. And off the top. Got time. I need to guarantee my land drop for next turn. That's why I wanted to land. There is a saga, so they have to have a way to get rid of Chalice. They could have it this turn, though. If they get a green source, they likely uh, have it. Oh, well, that's just rude. All right, uh, that does put a, a bit of a spanner in our plans. Draw. Start emptying the graveyard. Yeah, 
You know, we could have shut down some other artifacts too, now that I think about it. So yeah, turn one was definitely the play for the Chalice. There's their answer to get around it, kind of. Wish I could cast it. I think they probably get Haywire Might if they get an activation on that. Question is, do they pass or not? Oh, an iteration. Okay, so they're not going for damage. They are probably looking for an extra land. They're digging pretty hard for answers. Two to the bottom. Very dirtly game. Keeping as many as our artifacts alive, this seems like a good play. Do they create the token here? I'm primary, my greatest fear is one ring right now. I am holding up this member, which is not nothing. And a graveyard clear. Oh, not going for it. Okay. Interesting. The fury for a bounce, perhaps?
Oof, prismatic ending. Okay, that works. Ah, they, they probably have a bunch of Mishra's baubles. Yep. They held up the counter spell. Yep, they held up the counter spell. That sucks. Well, hopefully we've taken them off enough resources, but I do think we've been in a really bad spot right now. Oh, yep, Infinite Urza Saga. Hitting Needle really hurts us. And they're gonna bounce the O-Stone. Hers is mine or Sylvan's crying off the top. Hate doing it, but we have to hope they don't have it for an extra turn. That pithing needle really had a shut down. Ron's assembled. Oh, stones online. But they could win this turn. And again, they are down two underworld breaches. So. That's scary. They don't usually play that unless they have it. They have it. Do they? Yeah, they can just replay. Unfortunate. There's the Mox Amber, but they don't have a Legendary. But they can play it. Oh, they got rid of it. They have it in hand. Hold on. Ant, ants and plants walkers. Dang it. Well, I still think tr getting Tron was our better option. We stalled them as long as we could. I could have swore Mox Amber was creature only, but. And then Round Breaker brought in. That's interesting. We didn't see that last time, unless it was in hand. I 
could have held up the Boseju, but then I wouldn't have had Tron. Yeah. Preordain, I think, actually helped this deck quite a bit. That's pretty powerful. It, it's a lot of search and a lot of dig that Yep, definitely helps this deck against us. Granted, this is not a good matchup for us, Tron. We have Karn, good creator, but they have enough answers. And we typically don't interact well with combo decks. Especially combo decks running counter spells. And there's the game. All right. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. Tectonic Edge, signing out.